Um, she was where? I want to say she was right behind, like, the first door, wasn't she? Yeah, that sounds right to me. That'll be a bit of a trek, won't it? Yes, yeah, I think she was right in here. Let's see about making a trip. It'll be a nice experience, uh, next chance to get some experience along the way, too, because we'll undoubtedly have to get ambushed along the way. Thank God for autopathing. <laughs> this is so much better than walking all the way there. Hi! Nice to see you guys. How you doing? Baby Drez? Now right, we're gonna do Iron Defense. Slash. You're just gonna fight. And you're gonna hang out and defend. That usually serves us pretty well. Yep. That went just fine. No real party damage. A particle on our on our lead guy. And then, haha! -ha, they're all gone. And we get our next, next little particle of experience. Uh, I'm sorry. I saw a butterfly. I'm going to murder the butterfly. Because I am a monster. And they give me experience. Kill the butterfly. The butterfly must learn consequences for its actions. I say seconds before I probably die horribly. How much health does it have? I guess we're not attacking it with anything. Ooh, it popped back a little bit. We were, in, we were in attacking it with spells, so I guess that holds it off a bit. You do one little particle of damage at a time. Still, thousands of experience for one quick fight, which is pretty good. We're already approximately halfway to level 9 with all the characters that just hit level 8 last episode. That's good for me. And we're headed right down here, I believe. I think, I think it was right after the first gate. Howdy, folks. Murder. And not having to worry about these guys too much. It is nice having a way to not have to manually enter the same things over and over again. Because some enemies just aren't worthy of manual entry. We, we've all had the experience of playing older Final Fantasy games and just mashing the X button over and over again because they're like, uh, just attack. They're just It's a wolf. Who cares? I've been waiting for you. Did you find the product? The medicine box? <laughs> Looks like you found it. Yes, I was looking for that box. Exactly as expected of a stranger. You guys finish your work quickly. But, now that you know about this, I can't let you leave alive. Oh. <laughs> you were a disposable tool. You realize we had to take out three blood crystals on the way to, to to getting to fight you, right? Unless you're like super high level, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. So level 21, Le Musa, and two clerics. Hello, two clerics. How you doing? Gross knights. Great. Nice to meet you too. Uh, nothing that should be directly too much of a problem, really. I'm gonna go ahead and do. Ooh, X charge on the baddie. Oh, we can't. Frustrating. Uh. Let's start with Holy Light first, just because it's good for keeping us alive. I'll do Iron Defense. You can do Slash on the front row. Uh, Concentrate doesn't hurt here. Let's focus fire on the dangerous character with the character with the people who can. Maybe Fire Blast this, this front row to help clear them out. Oh, that didn't really work out, did it? Please don't one-shot one of my characters, you nasty spellcaster. That's the big worry every time, is that the spellcaster is going to do something critically dangerous against me. How are we doing on the front row guy? He's do he's actually doing fine. I want to just charge that character. So actually, let's have everybody focus on just this guy. Rush is going to help. You guys are going to help. You're going to cast Thunderbolts. That'll hit somebody and stagger between the various rows. There we go. Doing okay on defense so far, but this she's not going. He's not going down the way I would hope he would. Fine. Get that chivalric sword in there. See how you feel about that. That lightning bolt will keep bouncing between the rows. Come on, there we go. He's finally down. 
taking some damage. Not not psyched about that, but those are just clerics back there. They're the real risk, so I'm going to do this. X charge. You've got the full attention of our party now. It's not good for you at all. X charge. Ow. Taking some damage, which is surprising because we're being attacked by clerics, but it's fine. Because now there's just a couple of clerics, so who cares? Uh, so fight, fight, fight. What is going on with our... Sorry, what is going on with Yoshimitsu? Oh, he changed teams. Oh, he nasty. They have a mind control item. Hang on a second. Can you even cure mind control? Do I even know what mind control is called in this game? That's a problem, too. Um... I don't think I can do anything about that. Let's just beat the bad guys. That'll fix the problem. Fire Blast. I mean, it's a little scary because they're a... Uh, it's obviously a samurai, but... By and large, not gonna get us much problems. That's too much blood... That's two more blood crystals. The body vanishes. A metal emblem rests on the floor. Got Phoenix Squad Crest. Anna appears out of nowhere. Unlike her usual self, she quietly stares at where the leader stood. Was she so bad? こいつらの捌いてる物は恋にのこなって言って、私らの世界の麻薬みたいなもんなの。痛みが消えたり、気分が良くなったり、いろんな効果があるけど、一番すごいのは生命点を回復する力があることだろうね。とはいえ、こい
There we go. Oh, we are agonizingly close to hitting level 11 with our protagonist. Now that would be satisfying. Let's see if we can manage that. I see you encounter. Maybe we'll hit 11, level level 11 now and then head off to the next zone. And see what's, what's in the deeper part of the valley. I'm sure the crest opens the door. I'm sure that's the point. But it'd be great to have our... Have Pangolin and Strider both hit, uh... Hit 30 before then. I'd like that. Hi there. So how tough are you guys? Not that not that tough, but there are seven of you, which is, is not always not always encouraging. Holy light will help though. No one's in danger so far. Yep, it's maintaining itself pretty nicely actually. We became a wall. There we go. And Strider hits level ten, eleven. Yep, keep pumping up, pumping up that agility. Working out great for me so far. Being a ranger seems to be really helpful as your lead character. Just because they're kind of like a low priority target for your enemy, I think. Holy Light? I'm mostly using Holy Light to keep counteracting the effect of poison so I don't have to actually cure the poison. Since I'm kind of on my way out anyway. Just gonna head out the front gate, but fight a few things along the way, because I can. And because Penguin deserves a level after all his work. Alright, what do you guys like? Ah, you're straightforward enough. Let's start with the Holy Light, and then make our mess. Everyone ha oh! That's not really supposed to happen. Congratulations, you guys actually got to hit my protagonist for a second. He's back to being totally safe, though, it appears. Penguin level? Yeah! And Scarlet. Fantastic. Penguin leveled up. He's good on agility. I guess we'll get that strength up to 20. It's probably a decent approach. 312 experience. Congratulations. He went and passed the 300 mark now. I'll work on agility for Scarlet. She she has problems with hit chance right now, so the agility will help. Because she misses more often than I want her to. Let's go ahead and just head right on out. And we'll teleport to the, uh, the warp stone that we found earlier. That'll be our, our quick way back to where we left off without having to walk all the way there again. Get a few fights along the way. In fact, we might get two more characters to level up also. Also got a chest. Sorry, was there, was there also an item or- oh, hi. Gotta make sure- okay, just making sure they're not level 30 is a surprise I don't want to deal with. We're getting close! Was there an item over here? Oh. Thought I saw something really glowy over here. I felt enticed. Holy light. Keeping that health up. Yeah! These are going well. So next up is Dark Moon. Level 9. Fantastic. Keep that intelligence up. Magic Wall. That sounds new. Spell. No. Skill. No. Oh, right. Different walls. Our different tabs. A wall that protects against magic for one turn. Okay. It's relatively specific. So when we're fighting spellcasters, we can use magic wall to defend ourselves if we deem it worthwhile to do that instead of attacking with that character. Which shouldn't be... That's not an unreasonable conclusion. Ah! And now... We've leveled up with our ranger. Oh yeah, we're about to be all level 11s and 9s now. Fantastic. Considering we just all hit 10s and 8 last episode, this has actually been pretty good progression here. Let's help with the strength a bit. She got some scary starting stats, honestly. Let's see... The only person left is Yoshimitsu. Let's see if we can get them up to that point before we move on. There's a guy over here. Hey, buddy. What do you have for me? A two-row fight, relatively straightforward. Holy light will keep us going. Got him. And got him! Wow. That was surprisingly perfect, actually. And his agility is on par. Uh, I'd say Vitality next, honestly. Because his health's a little low for a front row character, I feel like. Because he takes hits hard at times. 
I'm gonna go ahead and warp on out of here and teleport back to that stone. And it'll give us a chance to replenish these items. Battle staff. Reduce to, uh, damage reduced one percent. Interesting. Spirit wand, thirty-four damage, nice. But it requires piety. It's got to be used by a, a cleric type, unless you want to special cross specialize or something. Battle staff doesn't require. Oh, the, the battle staff counts as a hammer. Interesting. Interesting. That's not usually how anything would really qualify that name, but have at it, bro. Off to the Valley Stone. So we're right back up here. This is where we found our access to this this last door, which was locked, but now we have this crest. Oh yeah, it's already open. Various footprints cover the floor. Looks like the remnants of the bandits headed north. The, the funny thing is video game logic t t dictates that the next guys have to be more dangerous, but... Uh, Storytelling logic would say that like if they're the remnants of the bandits and we killed all the leaders then the guys that are left over probably aren't very tough But they're probably tougher than all the ones that we killed so far because video games Oh hi, those are a lot of hopworms Just gonna work our way through this list. There we go What do we have hi Are you gonna be a pro oh, hi hi Bye. No, I'm not really in the biz. I'm not really in the uh, market for getting one shot today. I'd rather keep my characters in one piece. It's really effective. It's a good strategy. You should try sometime. Bye. There we go. Things are going relatively smoothly lately. Can't wait. For I'm. F I fully expect that to stop happening <laughs> really soon. Oh, 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 oh! What are you? Oh, you're level 20s, I can take that. Being poisoned is not really ideal, but... Oh! I don't think we got poisoned that time. I think we avoided it. Got some currency. Just seeing where this le Seems to be a dead end, actually. Alright. Didn't really go anywhere. Interesting. What are you hiding back here, buddy? You got surprises for me? Level 20s? Gotcha. These guys are giving me 1,600 each. It actually shows how little the boss is worth experience-wise. They only gave me like 4,000 for what's supposed to be like the boss that is, you know... Like lineages are like the entire basis of the progression of this game. So having them be worth only like three encounters worth of experience is kind of a surprise. Is this just a whole big circle I can go in? Sure is. This is probably an ambush spot. Let's check. Yep, that's exactly what it is. As you'd expect. I think I can hold off on ambushing a little bit. I feel like we've progressed just enough that I can kind of ro roam around a bit and feel like I'm making some progress. Which is a it's it's a victory in itself to be able to do that. Be like, oh yeah, let's just let's just plow through this zone. Look at all this map I'm exploring. This is me filling the map in like usual. You gotta keep every co uh, corner covered. Everything looks the same because it's a dungeon crawler repeating tile thing. So if you're not covering the, the uh, every corner yourself and actually filling it on the map, you'll have no way of keeping at, keeping track half the time. Hello. Getting rid of you. Those things are nasty. They put them outside of doors because the point is that you'll walk through the door and land directly on them, just like the monsters that are hiding behind doors all the time. But I've been lucky a lot of the time lately. I tend to find them from the outside first. In this case, this seems like it was the only possible situation. Because there's nowhere else to go. Is that the other side of the entire level? Or is this a different level over here? Oh. What do you guys make of that? It says enter the mine. Just filling the map in because I can. So, we've reached the end of the valley, apparently. Let's count the uh, ambush points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it always two per screen? Seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten ambush points in the entire level. They really do insist on making them be a two per screen. That's oddly consistent. Okay, nothing really happened in this last zone. Unless I missed something? The map looks pretty complete to me. 
So you gotta, you gotta wonder what's inside the mine, right? Are they, are they level 50 encounters? A steep cliff with a large vertical crack hangs over the valley. The rock of the cliff face appears to be cut into an opening. You duck down to enter the mine. An elevator-like machine is covered by steel fences. On the side, a lever soaked in oil sticks out like a human rib. Let's move it. Strata pushes down the lever, but nothing happens. We already tried a couple times, but nothing works. So, I thought about it, and... Maybe it's time to use that thing. I'm gonna borrow the crest. Anna takes the Phoenix Squad crest from, the stri from Strider. She sticks it into the elevator in a few places. If this is a the key, it has to go somewhere. <laughs> is it here? Yeah. No... here? Um... Uh. <laughs> Sorry. This probably isn't it. Damn, that sucks. I thought we'd get in. Well, what a coincidence. Huh? Rain? Good work on your patrol. Same to you. And... What in the world is a stranger doing here? Yeah. Well, just investigating. I just wanted to check something. Hmm. hmm. Then you should turn around. Beyond here is a mental co mine. You need permission to enter. Even strangers require permission. No exceptions. Is that clear? It's not like we went inside. Oh, one more thing. Do you know how to move? Don't push it. I, Renera, don't go easy on people who can't follow directions. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. No need to be mad, it's fine. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. I hope we can continue to have a pleasant relationship. Well... Have a wonderful day. Rain walks towards the valley. That freaked me out. But hey, if that chick is threatening us like that, we must be on the right track. There must be something in there she doesn't want us to see. But regardless, we can't move this thing, so... Oh, I'll give this back to you. And it gives the crest back. Alrighty, let's do this. I'll figure out how to work this. It might take some time, but it's just a machine after all. With a stranger's modern science, it should be... It's possible. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm, it's gonna be fine. I have no intention of doing it by myself. This kind of job needs as much manpower as we can get. Strider, thanks to today. Uh, thanks for today. Sorry for dragging you with. You did your best. Well, let's try again sometime. Accomplished. Poison to poison. Are we done with the whole zone now? Oh. So that, this wasn't a, I thought we were transitioning to, into a new zone, but maybe this game doesn't seem to work that way. Um, instead it was much, it was much like when we finished the first zone. And we went through that, uh, the vertical walk, uh, ladder or whatever that took us up to the crash of the plane that brought me here in the first place. And then we had a little fight, but we never actually physically saw the location, and then we left without actually exploring it. Like, it was just a painting. So that's it. That's the entire valley. Huh. Well, if we're done, I guess I might as well do some ambushes, huh? While we're here. That's the logical thing to do after you made this trip. Is to go get some loot. Otherwise, it's a wasted trip. Well, story happened, I guess, but yeah. Loot's good, too. You have no you probably noticed that it, it, we do seem to get the same loot over and over again, so it seems that as I go to a new location, we'd start finding new ones finally. Ooh, katanas! Being protected by samurai. What a surprise. Alright. Get that holy light going like usual. Do iron defense, just in case we get an actual attack coming at us. 
And everyone is going to focus on the samurai. See how much damage we can do. Maybe we can take him out in one turn? We sure can, actually. Cool. Alright. Keep that iron defense going. We can probably defend with our spellcaster at this point. They're just clerics. They're not really known for doing damage. There we go. Bye, clerics. So, Lich Hand or Poison Gas? We'll try Lich Hand. It was poison. Good news for me. Alright, all the more reason to cast that healing spell every turn, huh? We'll make our way over to the other base real quick. Might just do these quick, these two quick ambushes to get out of here, because we're under attack. Hi. Level 20 rogue types usually aren't that much of a problem, especially if we do Holy Light to keep ourselves going. Iron Defense. Slash. Fight, fight, and Fire Blast in the front row. Oh yeah. Oh, there goes the front row, more or less, huh? And our poison's more or less being undone by, by the effect of uh, having the heal happening every turn. Yep. yep, we're staying healthy and they're going down. Got it. 3,300 experience. That is a boss fight worth of experience right there, basically. The scales, the scale is interesting. I suppose the value, I suppose the reward is still worth it for boss fights because when you do a boss fight, you get a blood crystal and those unlocks new special abilities like that charge I like so much all of a sudden. I did not mean to hit fight. Damn it. I'm really good at that, huh? Accidentally starting the fight early. All right. Uh, X charge will take out this guy. There we go, there goes half the threat. There goes the poison. We'll follow up with one of those again. There we go. All that focus fire just wipes their samurai out instantly, basically. Holy light. And a bit of experience. What's in the box? Uh, none of these are common reward. Uh, none of these are common for wooden boxes, unfortunately. We'll try a Lich. Nailed it. That seems to just be the most common type in general so far, so Lich tends to be a safe bet, as far as I can tell. Do I go down to the next screen? Let's give it a shot. Especially since there's a teleporter right there. I can go to that spot, make it our last location, and get out of here. No. This is how party members go down. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of high level characters. Uh, defend, 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 defend. And then you are going to use Smoke Bomb, fast character, defend. There we go. Remind me not to do uh, auto apply for my next encounter because then I'll accidentally uh, smoke bomb out of it. And that would be bad. This would be a waste of a smoke bomb. Also, it would be a farce of an ambush because the whole premise is to ambush these guys. Oh no, I don't have the morale, right. Right, that is a problem. Uh, is there a, ho a, a fightable mob around here? Please? Ooh, a chest. That's handy. Why is there just randomly loot in that room? It's weird that it shows up in rooms you've already cleared just because you're like, who's putting it there? Hello. I need some morale if you don't mind. Oh, I did I did auto-apply. Apparently that, that does not result in me doing a, uh... They apparently know, they know not to make it be a, uh... A, uh, smoke bomb. They might, I don't know how they knew that that specific turn was not the one I'm talking to talking about, but that's interesting. All right. Now I'm torn between healing the entire party and saving up for the ambush. Here's an ambush location. Hi. Why not both, huh? This will give me the opportunity to start off with the holy light, but then kill so many guys that I get enough for another one. There we go. Yeah, we're mostly recovering every turn. This is not responsible behavior, by the way. What do we got? Oh. We got knights and wizards here. Our actual goal is the knight this time. Okay. I'll go for a helmet, why not? 
start off with Holy Light. How's that working out for you guys, huh? We can't use Charge, unfortunately. But we can just keep destroying them, honestly. And now we can charge. Oh, we can't charge the back row, though, right? Alright, everyone who can attack that guy, attack him. So we need to get our way to the back row if we can. Admittedly, only certain people can even reach the back row. Ah, most of them, I guess. We'll fire blast the front row. There we go. Target is down. Wizards are down. And we're clear. Give me my one last chest and we'll get out of here. Poison gas? Not that it would have really done much for, to me at this point. We're already well and truly poisoned at this point. Alright, let's get out of here. So there we have it. We took down all the lineage types that we currently know about at the very least. We uh, fully explored the zone as best as I can tell. Oh no. None of that, please. I'm sick of seeing your fiery nonsense. I'm not playing your game. There we go. We completed the quest as far as I can tell. Like, all's good. Wow. What is the deal with this hallway all of a sudden? Leave me alone. I'm literally leaving. <laughs> it's okay. You don't need to defend this place for me anymore. I might not even... I might, I might never come back. I'll probably come back. It seems to imply that we'll come back here later for the story. And, uh... Then we might learn about new lineages over time. Like how we went back to the first zone for that one rat that likes candy. We'll see if that comes up later. Flammable alcohol. And all these katana options. Chain helm. Ooh. That could be a good helm option for Pangolin. I don't know what he's currently wearing. But I, I only really remember everyone wearing, uh... Pots and leather helms, really. That royal helm to add to my set of things that only lucky people can use, which don't exist in my party. Yay! Let's see here. What's he wearing? A wood helm. So it's six. So yeah, the chain helm is definitely an upgrade, and that one's a freaking plus five. Fantastic. Enjoy your defense stats. So you're both wearing leather helms plus two. Which one do you use more tanky? She has way higher defense. Oh, because she can use a shield. So you're going to get the chain helm upgrade then. Congratulations, sir. Can I get you anything higher than a 19 on your body? Nope. We got a Wakazashi 8. But the long katana is weaker. But I think I got a second 8 earlier. Didn't we? we got a long katana 8. That's also better. But I think I got a Wakazashi 8. There it is. Boom. Dual wielding. I'll go ahead and sort real quick just to see if there's anything better than a 30 yet. I don't think there is. Nope. Just these two... The two Wakizashi. Equal quality. Can I get you better armor than I... I already checked that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> get past that. Nobody has... Who's wearing underwear? You're wearing the underwear. That's why you have so much armor right now. I wonder if he should wear the armor because you have a shield. I just gave him her underwear. That's that's creepy connotations. Uh, it's only four defense, but she's up to 52, he's up to 74, so he's the weakest defense front row, so it makes sense to give him that. That's the same reason why he has the healing ring plus five, because it gives you the five defense by comparison. And then we need high defense in this front row, because they go down fast otherwise. We've, we've seen that a lot in the past. All right, guys, thanks for watching, like always. And, uh... I believe next time we'll be finding out what some of these other zones look like. I feel like I've finished the uh, slums to the best of my ability. As far as we know about right now, at least. After all... The Valley of the... Yep, yeah, we even found the one lineage that wasn't even listed on the, the lineage types. Although it was rather foreshadowed. What? The leader of the opposing party might turn out to be a bad guy at the end. Well, I mean, they were already a bad guy, but they might turn out to attack me in the end. What a shock. And look, guys, I remembered to save. The all-important save. Got it. See you next time.